hello guys welcome back to another video tutorial in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can upload your website on cPanel with the help of FileZilla so let's get started first of all you need to download and install the FileZilla software so I go to my address bar and just write FileZilla and you need to uh, download this one software and click to download files like client download download once you do that then you will able to see your downloading will be started you need to wait once the downloading will complete then you will able to use that to install that in my case i already have uh, files on my system so i'll leave that and i'm going to show you files as you can see i'm going to double click on that run that we need to install that right so close this one and we will install that I agree and you need to just click next 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 this is a very simple and uh, normal way to install the any software like this one so basically I already installed uh, files on my system but I'm gonna show you how you can install that right so as you can see uninstall filezilla but i'm now install that again and only for me check mark all the uh, check boxes and select your location or path where you want to install the ftp i'll leave everything default next next very simple i'm gonna open that and you will able to see the software will be appear on the as you can see so we will get uh, the host name username password and port port default port is a 22 you don't need to write the port but sometime you will uh, assign the port on there so I'm gonna teach you how you can get a FTP account and how you can use that and also we will upload this one website so I want to upload this one website on my this one domain like uh, demo.babysummon.com so you will able to see this website will live on there with the help of FileZilla so let's see how you can create a FTP account so first of all you need to log in your cPanel account in my case I have a Bluehost account so I'm gonna show you how you can create a FTP account on Bluehost if you have another hosting don't worry you can use same method to create a FTP account so go to advanced I'm gonna close this one also and inside there you will able to see FTP accounts you need to open that I'm gonna right click it and then open that in new tab inside there you need to write any name as you want in my case I'm gonna use demo then uh, select the domain which domain you want to assign on this one FTP account why will use the uh, FTP basically FTP is used to assign the any domain or any domain directory with any person for example you will assign this one uh, I'm going to show you this one domain with another person who will manage your site or who will update your site so you can assign the FTP account then who will able to manage your site with the help of FTP so let's see how you can create that write the name login name you can write any name and then a select domain in my case I have many domains so I'm gonna select the particular domain like a demo dot baby and write the password and again write the password once you do that then you need to uh, remove this one default directory and you will get the directory from your file manager I'm gonna show you file manager and you need to uh, open the public underscore HTML inside there I have all the directories available which are used to run the site so after assigning the domain inside the cpanel then directory or folder will be created automatically so you don't need to create a particular directory inside the file manager right so as you can see this is a demo directory i'm going to double click on that you can't see anything else this is a default folder 
so i don't need to remove that you can remove that as you want but this is a normal right so you can't see anything else inside there let's see our website looks like nothing right but i will upload my site with the help of filezilla so go back and this is a, your particular domain directory you can also get this one domain um, data or path sorry so i'm going to double click on that and as you can see this is your this directory path you can copy that and go to your ftp account and paste on there right then this is very simple if you face any problem to getting the directory then you can uh, use this way public as you can see this is your path this path is a represent like this one this one inside public underscore html have a many um, folders many directories and also have a many files don't focus on any other folder of files you just select particular domain directory like demo so you can write slash demo this is the same thing you have received from there right so i'm gonna rearrange it same thing right so you need to uh click create account i think maybe someone is already uh, created on my directory so uh okay i will create another um, directory don't worry so you need to use same thing public underscore html and this is your directory name particular domain directory name is demo so create account demo2 has been created as you can see you will get the data from there so let's see uh, configure ftp account inside there you will get all the details which are used to connect the this one directory on your filezilla software so i'm gonna copy this one server no i'm gonna copy this one username copy that and go to filezilla and paste on there write the password you have created this one account this one account we have made enter the password on there you need to enter the same password so i'm gonna write the password and you will get the host from your main cpanel account host means your ip address as you can see this is my uh, shared ip address is like this one so you need to copy that and go to your host and paste on there once you add that then you will click on uh, click connect then you will able to see that directory will be appear on there you can't see anything else but this time you see not connected to any server so i'm going to click on to connect click connect and click to ok and you will able to see you need to wait as you can see so i want to upload my this one website right on this one domain so this website is uh, available on my desktop as you can see i portfolio we will use this one to upload on my cpanel so let's see how you can use that so first of all you need to find out this is your uh, complete local computer and this is your uh, basically server host right so you need to just uh, pick and where it is my where is my desktop i go to a bow and i'm going to select desktop and here is your portfolio website double click on that select this one data and paste on there that's it you need to wait uh, to upload the uh, file and folders inside your server then you will able to see your website will be live on the internet with the help of filezilla right very very simple way to use that so let's see how you need to wait sorry for that and I think this file size is more than uh, 8 MB so let's see how it's take a time to upload the complete website with a uh, live server right right 
once you your side data have been appeared or uploaded on cpanel or on particular directory then you will able to see the message or pop-up box inside the um, windows so once you add that then you are able to see your all files appeared inside the server this is the server and this is your local computer so let's see our website appear or not inside my this one domain let's see refer that as you can see guys this is my domain do, uh, demo.babysummon.com and this website is alive and this is my local website so let's see how you can change anything else and how you can uh, manage that so I'm gonna show you also this way I go to portfolio and I'm gonna open this from an HTML file inside my I decrease the size and I'm gonna use about me right so this is a about me I have changed simple text inside the index.php uh, index.html file so let's see this is my local that game gonna refer that and as you can see this is my about me text has been changed but inside my live site you can't see the changing right so in case you want to update anything else you just need to open the filezilla and just uh, update particular file on the drag and drop and use overwrite to update the data everything is clear let's see refer the live server as you can see so this video is all about how you can upload your aesthetic website on cpanel with the help of filezilla and how you can manage that so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture or next video have a nice day